video, vlog that I'm going to do. Hopefully this is going to be a journey and show you guys um, the day-to-day -day tasks that HGV drivers have to do and take and um, how it's been during the pandemic and the coronavirus, how things have changed, how the roads have changed. Um, I'm going to take you through you guys through the day of that. Um, so not only am I going to be showing you guys what us truck drivers get up to day to day and, and what we do as a company and what I do as a driver, but also I'm going to show you what we do in a spare time, um, what I get up to when I get back from work, what I do when I get back to the yard, what we do on a weekend. So it's basically just going to be a, a vlog and some videos of different things for you guys. And hopefully guys, you guys will keep keeping interested. Like maybe sometimes we'll go show and go play football, um, play paintball. Um, learning to ride a motorbike, I'm going through that at the moment, so I'll have good vlogs and stuff like that for you. Uh, just keep you guys interested. So yeah, and, uh, I'm Andy, and uh, welcome to the vlog. Trucker by day, lover by night, professional by choice. Keep it tact. Hi guys, uh, Andy here. I'm just going to give you an update on um, what it's been like to work through the coronavirus through the pandemic and um, what it's been like for us as a company and me as a driver through these hard times I mean as a company obviously like every other company in the country and a lot of companies um, we have had to furlough a couple a few staff um, so if the work has not been there many customers and many places shut down and it's not just us that's affected it's everybody in the country which has made for the, the lads that have stayed to be fair it's um, the workload has stayed up there and we have been really busy um, we do a load every morning uh, uh, medical gas oxygen and often that gets distributed all over the country keep people alive keep people breathing so on that on that front every morning we've still had that and um, we've done what we can we had a, a delivery where we delivered medical boxes um, to Milton Keynes where we took a full load of syringe boxes so we've been doing our part of the NHS and also our part to try and keep our other customers um, above water and, and ourselves really. So on, on a work point, it's been up and down. On a personal point, driving through it, it's been a lot harder than, than, than people could imagine. Um, places to find to, to get food have been few and far between many garage forecourts only the window open or if you do get inside it's very very scarce production of sandwiches or, or, or salads pastas and there's only so much stuff that you can eat if that's every day I mean I try and bring as much food as we can to work with us especially if we're working out but sometimes it's just not possible and through this pandemic it, it has been a, a nightmare um, Places to park not been so bad because many truck stops have stayed open, many services have stayed open. They haven't dropped the prices. Um, the, the services definitely haven't dropped the prices. They've left still left it full whack. So you're paying thirty pounds some, thirty five pounds some, and all you're getting is, is a toilet. So and that's another problem we've got facing as a driver finding a place, a safe place to park. Um, I mean, it's quite scary times. As a driver, we're, we're customer facing. Um, we've come close contact with a lot of customers, especially if it's um, a towel lift job, a, a handball job. Um, so on, on that on that point, it, it has been quite quite hard for us. I mean, we're lucky that many of our customers we deliver to um, social distancing measures have been put in place. We've got our PPE, all our equipment to keep us safe as drivers and to keep everyone else safe who we come in contact to. Um, paperless deliveries, that's another thing we've taken up on. So the customer's paperwork will be on their pallet. Our paperwork will be with us or we'll just take a surname, write that down. So I mean, we're doing everything we can as a company and, and as human beings to look after each other and um, do what we can to help each other out. So it, it, it it's been one of those it's been one of those where you had the good days and the bad days sometimes rushed off our feet 
next day you might be waiting a couple of hours for a reload or you, there might be no reload so it's hard times but it's not just us it's everyone and we've all got to stick by this and stay in this together um, help each other out and and all come through the end of this and then hopefully in a couple of years to come a few years to come we can look back this is just history and a learning curve and uh, see how everything's changed and not only the transport may be going to change or, or has changed the, well, I think every industry is going to change and it's, it's, on, it's only a learning curve for everyone so it is what it is but stay safe look after yourselves and wash your hands